Hey, it's Reese, and today we're gonna to be going over how to inspect the power line on your i3 chicken loop. The first thing you're going to want to do is eject the loop and rotate it out of the way. Next, you're going to pull all the stainless rings and the re-ride line out of the way as well. Using a flathead screwdriver, get in underneath the sand seal and pop it off. Pull the seal out of the way as well. Now that we've uncovered the power line for the chicken loop, you can really inspect the power line. Um, you wanna check all the way around. You wanna make sure all of the weaves are still intact and there's no fraying of any kind. This is just the metal insert pulled out so you can have a better look at what the power line should look like. This is what it should look like when it's in good shape. All the weaves are intact, there's no fraying, there are no slices. This is a pretty extreme scenario of what your power line should not look like if there are any cuts or slices or fraying like there is on this example, you should immediately stop using your chicken loop and replace the power line system before continuing use. Make sure you inspect the power line for any wear and tear that might be inside the metal insert as well. If the power line looks suitable to continue using, you can replace the sand cover by pushing it down and locking it in. And then you can reconnect the chicken loop and you're good to go.